this is Mike Check 95 with another Mike Check Productions Mike Check movie review. We are going to have my final review for these record sessions until the next year because I have other projects going on. If you enjoyed this video, like, share, and subscribe. Join the madness. We have social media through Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We also have a Discord. We also have a podcast now. All five of those links are in the description box down below. Be sure to listen to us on there. Be sure to join our Discord. Join us on all of that social media and follow us on YouTube. The review that I'm going to be doing today is Night at the Museum, a 2006 fantasy comedy film where a divorced father gets hired as a night security uh, watchman at a museum to which he learns that the artifacts come to life at now this is a film I didn't really write too much on because I did watch this film quite a bit growing up and it's also a Robin Williams film so I'd, it's really hard to actually hate this movie. I actually really do like this. I did miss the other two sequel films after this so I'm going to be going in blind in those when I eventually review those films. But for this one there's not going to be too much on my notes because I just was mainly stuck watching and kind of reminiscing on my memories watching this film as a kid. But before we get into that, we're going to go into the numbers of this film. Critics rate this film a 4.3 out of 10, while audiences rate this film a 6.7. Those numbers make me want to pull my hair out. The budget of this film was $110 million, and the box office back a whopping $574.5 million. They, they banked on this movie a lot, which explains why it had two more sequels. So, cons? The telephone intercom comedy bit was a little cringy. It's been stiller. The fact that the he's getting paid eleven fifteen an hour at a museum to be a night security watchman in a pretty big city. I feel like you should get paid a little bit more if you're working an overnight job like that. And the museum boss is a little bit of an ass, but he was pretty much told to portray that, so it is what it is. Pros. Like I said earlier, um, it was a nostalgia trip for me. There was a good cast selection, great dialogue amongst characters, the atmosphere of the museum. There was great foreshadowing in this entire film. Uh, when you first see uh, the first artifact come to life, when they reveal that the T-Rex is alive, because that's the first thing they show on the screen, it's done super well. His reactions to the first night, and as he gets works a couple more nights he gets better at like what he better at his job learning more about the uh, history of the artifacts in the museum and he's getting better at taking care of them that's a good development over time it wasn't really said in the uh, film at all or in the credits but it was kind of a surprise seeing Owen Wilson in this film I kind of forgot that he was in this movie until I watched it again because I didn't put two and two that the little mini cowboy guy was Owen Wilson until now <laughs> Touching and well-written story, like just this film overall is well-written, the story's great, the dialogue's great, the characters are great, the character development's great, the foreshadowing's great, even some of the action's great. All of this film for me was just a big giant trip down memory lane for this film. It's a big Robin Williams film for me too, one of my favorites. This review, like I said, is going to be very short because I didn't really write that much down for this film other than just, like, I liked this movie a lot. And I know a lot of you out there probably enjoy this film as well. I don't understand why the, the audience and the critics' numbers are as low as they are because I feel like they should be a lot higher because my rating of this film is an 8.9. Some people could say that this film deserves, like, a 9 or a 9.5. I think that this film has some room to grow because I have not seen the second or the third night of the museum at all and hopefully that as the other films have progressed it might help this one age a lot better as the story goes on and the character development and everything. But we'll have to see when that comes out. Again those are kind of my quick thoughts on night of the museum like there's... I know this feels like that I kind of rushed through this review. But again, like, I really don't know much about what to say about this film that's probably already been said on the internet, because this film's been out for quite some time, and I don't know that many people that actually hate this movie. Pretty much everyone I talk to absolutely love this film and agree with a lot of the points that I have brought up. 
that is just kind of why this review is going to be kind of quick, short, and sweet. Hopefully you enjoyed this very short review of Night of the Museum. If you want me to review the other two Night of the Museums and kind of try to tie in together uh, with the first one and the other two, uh, be sure to comment down below that you want me to come back and review Night of the Museum 2 and 3. Uh, if there's any other reviews that you want me to cover next month, be sure to comment in the comment section or join on Discord and comment in there or even comment somewhere on our, all of our social medias. Those links are in the description box down below. Um, and heck, like maybe if you listen to the Spotify podcast, we might cover it on there because there's a couple of reviews that we quickly run through in the podcast over time. Hopefully you guys enjoy these this content coming out. This stuff might be coming out um, this month. It might be coming out next month. It just depends on how my schedule lands. This is Mike Check 95 with another Mike Check Productions Mike Check Movie Review. And I'm signing out.